Yat e she Wilhelmina Yazi in a shea. This teen in a slunk in your auntie by she's teen. Twitchini does a che, a arrow she hid a chanelle. Set her talk all day, I see Nasha. A shamande any Yazi will gain day, Arosha must send us a che, a betty and Tom Yazi will gain day. Arosha has teen it just in black moon, you'll get. Aro tra isha alchin. Ahut ego it the next son in a shle. Hello, my name is Wilhelmina Yazi, and I'm the lead plaintiff in the Yazi versus State of New Mexico education lawsuit. New Mexico is failing its children. That's the argument from dozens here today as a lawsuit against the state of New Mexico gets underway. 130 people have a bone to pick with the state over how kids are learning in New Mexico. From the beginning when this started, I, I had my doubts um, because I had never really uh, heard or seen any such school suit here where parents and you know school districts came together against the state for our children. We had to file a suit just to get our children to get what they need and what they're entitled to, quality education. The suit is being called one of the most significant education lawsuits in New Mexico history. Yazzie is eager to see some things change. And it, it did take several years because my son was in elementary when this started. And now he's almost done with high school. Elementary, fifth grade when it started. When it started, yeah. that far back, that okay. That far back, yeah. C H is it six? Mm -hmm. H. A B C D A F G. I have three children. I have Xavier, I have Reese, and Kamimila. Kamimila means butterfly in Lakota. What is this one? B for banana. Banana in Navajo is Yishkan. 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 She's in pre-K now and she loves school. My hope for her is that she gets what we're asking for now to really be prepared when she gets older. This one? And to know who she is, where she comes from, and to be proud. As a mom, it's very important for me that they know these values and their cultural beliefs as well, because it's part of who they are, and that's gonna guide them and help them. It's plain and simple. Our children deserve quality education. It's really their constitutional right. It's written there. Wilhelmina Yazi of Gallup is listed on the groundbreaking lawsuit Yazi versus New Mexico. She's frustrated with the education her sons were not getting. Our children deserve good quality education. My children, your children, everybody's children. And a lot of the teachers, they really want to help our children but it was always that they didn't have enough resources. Some went out of their ways to try to help our children on their own from their own expenses. Our, our position in this case is that all students have the potential to learn. The thing that's happening here in New Mexico, though, is that they're starved of resources. They're starved of educational opportunities to succeed academically, as uh, Wilhelmina has described. Putting together this case meant that we had to think about the needs of all students. The teachers needed additional classroom supplies. She says parents were asked to bring in old socks so teachers could use them to clean the dry eraser boards. There were any culturally relevant classes. My children would come home saying, you know, we had a substitute for a week now. There was enough textbooks to bring home for homework. It's a victory for many parents and educators around our state. A district court judge ruled New Mexico is not living up to its constitutional obligation. A district court judge ruled New Mexico is not providing students with a sufficient education. A first judicial district judge declared the state's public education system a dismal failure. I reread the order several times to really see if, you know, if I was really reading right. 
<laughs> that Judge Singleton um, had ruled in our favor. It was plain and simple there, but just rereading it and rereading it, like, wow, is this really happening? Did we really win? Did we really, you know, is it really going to happen for our children? Mommy. Yes. Are we going to help with? Say Shema. Ba. Ba. It is link. It's mom, let's make bread. Mom, let's make bread. I joined the lawsuit because our children, our Native American children, have endured so much discrimination in the education system for so long, starting back from in the Removal Act and the boarding school era. I didn't have dreams of going to college or doing big things because in school, I didn't have that preparedness. However, with my mom being there as my inspiration, she always stressed the importance of education. She was an educator for quite some time, for over 30 years. She started with the Navajo Head Start program and on to secondary school. The concept for her, my children, was everybody the whole community, every, all the children that she taught was like her children. And in Navajo, that's Nakhachinaba, is for our children. Push that, Come on, children, time to eat. So I'm trying to do my part as a, a mother, but I also like the state to do their part for our children with the education system to really engage and really keep our children a priority. 